Hey guys, here's Ola with another new series. And I know you guys are like, what the f how can this guy just continue to be so awesome? I know it's it's not easy. Anyway, this is a new series called Ola's Home Recording Tips. And in this first one, I'm going to quickly explain what an impulse response is and how to make one yourself. I will show the process in this video. And if you're nice, I'll let you download the ones that I make for this video. OK, so quick description of what an impulse response is. An impulse is a signal that you feed to your rig that you want to capture. And the response, just as it's saying, is the response of that impulse signal being picked up by a microphone. So an impulse response is basically the reaction of how something would sound or behave in a certain environment. So what do you use uh, an impulse response for, Ola, the advisor? Well, think of it like this. Take this Boss Melzone. The Melzone is a distortion pedal that you're supposed to use together with a guitar amplifier or the effects return of a loop of an amplifier. You hook it up straight to your amplifier and you're happy. That's it, you know. But have you ever heard how a Melzone sounds when you just listen to the actual signal coming from the pedal. Spoiler alert, it kind of blows. Which is the point, because the amplifier is doing the further coloring of the sound, and that's the sound you're used to. But say you don't have an amplifier, or your amplifier sucks, and you want to try another one, or maybe you want to be able to play your precious little metal zone silently through your computer. That's where the cab impulse response jumps in and saves the day. The cabinet impulse response basically acts as the amplifier, the cabinet and the microphone combination. So basically you can hook up your mail zone direct to your computer and have a kick-ass sound without the use of an amplifier or cabinet or a microphone. And the beauty of it all, there are tons and tons of impulse response files out there to download for free. Like for instance, if you use the file I make today, it's like you would be playing through my rig as I've set it up right here. How cool is that? Huh? All right, so here is my rig. This is the Randall Satan through a Hesu 2x12 cabinet. This is a microphone. It's a LeWitt MTP 440 microphone. And now I'm going to make some impulse responses for you. So the process of creating an impulse response requires a couple of different things. You need some kind of impulse generator. If you're on a Mac and using Logic, you're in luck because there's one built in the Space Designer plugin. But there are also other options out there. You just have to go to Google and Google it. Of course, you need an audio interface with an input and an output. The output needs to be a proper reamp signal. Either you have a reamp box, like uh, I have a torpedo reload here, or you have an audio interface that already has a dedicated guitar out signal. The Apogee Ensemble that I'm using has that, so I'm using that today. Okay, so just as an example, here's the sound of the metal song. Pretty gnarly, I must say. The impulse signal that we're going to send to the amplifier goes from my Apogee Ensemble output into the effects loop of the amplifier. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm hooking it all up. Uh, let's see, what's this? Is it this cable? So not, right now I'm not using the metal zone at all, okay? I'm just hooking my audio interface into the effects loop of the Randall Satan, okay? So that signal goes into the effects loop of my amplifier. The amplifier is connected to the cabinet and in front of it I have my microphone, which is a LeWitt 440 MTP, which picks up the signal, goes back into the audio phase, and that will be the recorded response. So basically it's a full loop. So when you play the impulse, it will play through the amplifier and the microphone will pick up the reaction. That's it. So uh, yeah, let's try it out. Okay, okay, okay. All England, all England, all England. Okay, so now I press record and I push the sweep button and then hold your ears. That's it. That's me making an impulse of my full rig right there. Success. Great. 
So now, when you have an impulse, you need some sort of plugin uh, that can uh, load one into it. And uh, usually, all the uh, like amplifier plugins that are out there, you can load in your own impulse, like the Fortin Nameless, for instance. Wall of Sound from Two Notes is another free IR loader. Okay, so now I'm using, I'm taking up the Fortin Nameless plugin. I'm shutting off all the pedals, so we're only using the cabinet section. And uh, I'm gonna load my file. And now, Ole England, the sweeter, we're gonna unplug it into the Mel Zone. And then plugging in the Mel Zone back into my ass. No, uh, in all right, so now I've hooked up my Mel Zone straight to my audio interface. I'm using the impulse file I just made out of this rig. Let's see how it sounds. Sounds the same, right? But now I'm not using this rig at all. So that's pretty cool, huh? I'm just using the Melson as an example. You can use whatever pedals or whatever rig you want, or even your amplifier and hook it up to your computer and use this same impulse. Doesn't matter, I'm just making a point here with the Melson, okay? So that is pretty cool, huh? Did you learn anything? Probably not. You're probably just here to steal my impulse files. I will share this impulse response for you to download and use yourself. You find it in the description of this video. If you're a member, you're getting a couple more using other microphones and such. If you're not a member, then too bad for you. You can still become one by clicking join here below, okay? Hope you liked my first quick home recording tip video. If you did, please subscribe and yeah, see you next time. Bye.